let's talk about the sections on your resume, how you reorder them, and how you might um, relabel them. So to do that at the structural section level, the content like your resume bullets and the ordering of those you actually do on the preview mode because that's your content right there and you're, you're in it with your content. But the overall macro layout of your resume, if you come over to design mode and then you go to the sections, you can see the sections. And it's only going to turn on the sections that you have content enabled on. So say you wanted to put your skills at the top as like a highlighted section of your skills, you can do that. You just click and drag these. If you wanted to do uh, your professional summary at the top, you can do that. It does not have a title. Some templates, I believe, title it. So that's at the title level. You can't turn on or off whether the heading is on. That's baked into the design of a particular template. If you wanted to lead with your work experience, you could do that. Now, say you wanted to relabel it and you didn't like work experience. You just wanted it to be experience. You can go ahead and edit that. Hit save. That's a little floppy drive for anyone who doesn't know what that little icon is. You hit save and then it's labeled there. Now, because the interface refers to these, you can see that the title is still there in parentheses. That way, if you do choose to rename it something entirely different, uh, you can know what section it's referring to over in the content and your career history. Um, but that's how you can reorder these. If you want the target title, you know, above, below, you can do it. Now you can see if I turn off my target title, it won't be on the list. And that's how you can restructure, you know, say you did want to put education at the top because it's more relevant, you can do that. And again, this is saved on a per resume basis. So now if I go back over to another resume, let's go to resume two, right, the ordering, everything done in the sections, that's happening on that particular resume. Think of it as an instance of my career history. Uh, if you really like that particular layout, what I recommend is you duplicate that resume. Uh, eventually, we hope to be able to maybe load settings from another resume. Um, but if you really like the configuration you have, the easiest way to move that forward is to duplicate it. Now, I, let's go ahead and check it right now. Um, it's always good in a course to be testing things live, but you know, part of my approach with this course is giving you as if I was a hired creator and could be completely objective about the technology. Uh, and so I want it to feel that way. So these are, let's go ahead and go to our resumes. And this is the most recent one. I'm going to make some changes. I'll go to design mode. I'll add a template. I'll use this one. That's the two column with the green and I'll rearrange the sections. This is how you manage the sections for a two column, but say I wanna put the education at the top and my volunteering and leadership over here, and I'll have my professional summary alongside it. And that is this resume now. And let's make a new resume. Uh, so we'll do that by coming back over to the resume builder and we'll make a new resume. And yeah, that's what I thought would happen. It inherits the most recent changes you did. So if you've really tuned a resume up and you really like it and this is the one you want and you've rearranged your sections, every time you make a new resume, it'll inherit that. If you make changes, it'll continue to inherit that, but it won't retroactively apply it to all your past resumes. So I do recommend focusing on the template and the visuals and the aesthetic that you like at the beginning so it carries forward. And the cool thing is you can always change it. You can then start to, you know, new ones will, will inherit it. So it's something to think about, but that is how you manage the sections and the ordering and then going forward, how every new resume will inherit that information.